All right, guys, figured I'd make a video on this because this is one of the funnier things that I've had happen to the track since we took it over. You know, we've had break-ins. We've had everything under the sun, I think, happen at this point in time. You know, people breaking in because they thought they were allowed to be there. People breaking in to steal stuff. People breaking in to vandalize stuff. The whole nine. This was the most interesting so far. Over the weekend, we were at PRI. I started getting texts from some buddies who were at the drag strip. I mean, bro, he's like touching oh, down shit. inside the place. Yeah, he went we have a guy who lives there now, uh, basically there full time. He's texting me, calling me, because there was a guy with a paramotor, which is like, you got a fan on your back and a parachute and you can fly around. And this guy is not just flying around the track. He's flying in the track. And for one, he did land on the dragster property took off and landed at the dragster property went ahead flew over to our property and flew so low that it's got to be illegal and as far as i know the faa rules basically your airspace for your property extends to what you can occupy and since we have poles that go up to 70 feet just check out this video he's well within that area it's just so dumb you know we have wires that hang from pole to pole to run power for certain things and the timing systems and stuff like that. And this guy is just in there sending it. Put out a thing on my Instagram, said, hey, if you're the guy who was just paramotoring at the Freedom Factory, go ahead and call me or you know, DM me so we can talk. Because I love aviation and I think that stuff's cool. So I'm not trying to like freaking you know, get the guy in trouble. I just wanted to talk to him and tell him not to do it. Because the last thing I want to do is come into the track and see this guy freaking hanging from one of our wires because he got in an accident. Ended up figuring out who it was within like 30 minutes via the power of the internet. Talked to the guy and I was actually hoping he was going to be cool because I kind of wanted to fly one of those paramotor things. But after we talked for a little bit, my bullshit meter hit the red line meter because I was like, hey man, like, you know, the reason I'm making this call is because you went a little bit too far with my property, so don't do it again. He said, yeah, yeah, no problem. But then I said, the reason that I'm so worried is there's wires in there. And obviously you don't know where they're at. He said he had just moved here. He's like, well, you know, I used a drone to see him. And I was like, oh, so you flew a drone over, you know, just ask him. He goes, well, no, no, I used Google images and the 3D viewing, and I was like, dude, you don't gotta BS me. You know, I've, I've BS people before. I could tell I was getting BS, and I just basically told the guy to be a better pilot. It could have been a really bad deal. So luckily nothing happened. He said he's never gonna come back again, and that's that. So you literally never know what could happen tomorrow. It's crazy, you know? And it's a lot of liability owning properties that people wanna be on at all times of the day or night. It just scares me, it keeps me up at night, honestly, just wondering what what's the next interesting thing that could happen? I don't know, but we do everything we can to prevent it. This one, tough, can't really prevent that. So hopefully this is a warning to anyone who plans on doing any airstrikes at the Freedom Factory. Please don't, but that's my interesting story of the day. See you later.